I found the trigger point. I did that because it's very diagnostic. He got immediate relief. I had to fight with him quite some time because he was saying, no, my surgeon said, my surgeon said, my surgeon said. And I said, well, let's just try something. Let's see if we can do something that will work better for you. He was shocked. He came back a week later, and we started doing prolotherapy on him. He's off of his pain medications. He still gets headaches occasionally, comes back once in a while. He's not fixed, but he's not getting surgery. He's off the medications. He's happy. So don't think radiculopathy because you have arm or leg pain, numbness, paresthesias of any kind. That's what doctors think, but it's the last thing I want to think about. I want to think it's something I can fix, and usually we can. So these tight cords, this is the um, trapezius muscle, origin insertion here, and this is a piece of muscle. Trigger points are defined as um, areas of tight bands. If we look under a microscope, we see what are called ragged red fibers. They're hyper-irritable. If we stick an electronic needle in there to check the electricity levels in them, they're hyper-irritable. They're firing all the time. So many doctors will stick needles in these to get rid of the trigger points. It only works for a short time. I go to the insertion right up here where that muscle attaches to the bone. That'll get rid of the trigger points. This is a neck that has a straight configuration to it. That is abnormal. People with whiplash get this. What happened? The neck is supposed to be in a nice, what we call lordotic curve, a nice curve backwards. So if the muscles are all tightened up, it tends to pull the head forward, and we have a, what we call a loss of lordosis here. Prolotherapy in the right places can bring this back into position with a nice lordotic curve again. So this is a normal right knee. We see that fibula bone that was fractured on this poor woman here with the screws in and the plates. And the medial lateral collateral, I'm sorry, the medial collateral ligament, when there's a force from the outside, will stretch that joint open and stretch that ligament. Okay? There's a terrible condition that football players get when they're hit from the outside where they rip the MCL, they rip the ACL, and they'll get a meniscal tear at the same time. It's called O'Donohue's triad. Terrible, because it's triple injury just from one impact. And a lot of football players, if you watch them, they're going to roll their bodies into the lateral side of the knee to try to do that, try to create that. Football is a mean sport. So we have an injury. We have a stretching of this ligament. It's actually a sprain. Okay, It's not ripped. It's sprained. Like I showed you, the tissue is stretched out. The joint becomes unstable. What happens then? The bones, if this is untreated, are going to grow over. Anyone ever look at an arthritic joint? You'll see the bones start to grow. What are they doing? Is it bad? They don't think so. They're trying to stabilize themselves. They're trying to grow bone and fuse so that they can hold the body in proper position. The body's main job is to protect the nervous system. So you're going to see a lot of strange things happen, especially in the neck and back, to try to preserve our nerves. At any rate, what happens here, if untreated, we get chronic degeneration, traumatic arthritis. Most arthritis that we have is traumatic. It's not a disease. You know, a joint is overused or it's injured. There are many forms of arthritis, though, and I'm going to do a lecture in about a month or so about arthritis, generally what it is, because it's all kinds. So when we get traumatic arthritis, we get what are called osteophytes. That means overgrowth of bone that I mentioned. So we can help that knee go back to normal. We can't get rid of those bones that have grown over, but we make the knee stable again by doing prolotherapy, get rid of pain that way. I mentioned that there are photographs under a microscope of areas where we do prolotherapy injections, and you'll see this in the book. Prolotherapy Living Pain-Free, which I think you all have a copy of. So the arrow, which is right here, points to moderate infiltration of lymphocytes 48 hours after injection of proliferating solution. Lymphocytes are inflammatory cells, white blood cells. That's the first stage. Here we start seeing beginning of fibroblastic organization 
present in addition tissues, adjacent tissues. Arrow points to capillary, those are little teeny blood cells, proliferation with moderate infiltration of lymphocytes two weeks after an injection. So the capillaries actually start to grow in the area where there's an injury. Great. Get more blood supply, more nutrients, more ability to take the toxins out of the area, have the area heal. Here we have fibrous tissue. That's the collagen, now present. Lymphocytic infiltration is minimal. This is one month after injection. The arrow points to a few different fibroblasts, these little cells. This is fibrosis, nice pure collagen. Not scar, but beautiful sheets of collagen are laid down on top of our tendons, ligaments, wherever it is that we inject. So that's it for me. Thank you very much.